last use, use case that I'm going to show you is from Jira to Azure DevOps. Let's say if I change the status on Jira to DOM, I want that there's a couple of things happening in Azure DevOps. I want that the key goes to the repro steps, and I want that there is a string added in the repro steps. Lastly, I want to change the state of Azure DevOps. So if there is not a custom field and you want to know the exact field name, what you can do is we have a whole API library. So you can just go to API reference Azure DevOps, for example. And then we have this for every single issue tracker that we support. So you can see here, OK, so every single field and entity available for synchronization. So we want to have the repro steps. So this is the field name. Awesome. So what we do now is we go to the incoming sync. Sorry, first things first, we want to send over the status. Because remember, I want to see the status in Azure DevOps. That's always the first thing. Are you sending over what you want to assign on the destination side? So status, we can see that we have it here. OK, so let's get to typing. So when the <clears throat> is going to make it bigger, or well, let's just do it like this. So when the status in Jira Cloud is moved to done, I want in fields. So let's paste here the fields on this uh, Azure DevOps that a comment gets placed saying tickets resolved in Jira and then after a space and a plus sign at the Jira Cloud ticket key. Then change the Azure DevOps work item to accept. OK. So you can see you can really just type as specifically as possible what you want to achieve. And then Excelate is going to propose you a script. You can look at the script, and then you can decide for yourself, OK, do I want to insert in this script, or do I want to have another version? And then you can just keep typing with the AI. So let's see what it says here. OK, so if the replica status name, so that's what's coming from, from Jira, goes to done, <clears throat> then we're setting this to this value and the key, and then we're setting the status to accept it. OK, so let's insert the changes and publish it. Wonderful. So let's change this to done. And then let's see what happens. Okay, let's check if there is any errors. <clears throat> okay, if there are, okay, so count said property no value on null object, but that's because the this is not a custom field. So if we just remove this and this, then that will resolve it. So the custom fields, you can see it also here in the example code. So it's only this syntax for custom fields, and otherwise you can just do it like this. So Let's go back here, and you can see, all right, that the data is being set. So in 